Don't you hate it when that happens to you? When it does, you need this and this and this. When it happens to me, I always know where to go. When you've got professionals on your side, your problems don't stand a chance. What are you waiting for? Contact them today and let them take care of your problems. A very interesting thing happened uh, yesterday. Very interesting. It was rather thought-provoking. A friend of mine, Jacob, who I've known for years, he was my client in uh, Dubai. Okay, so Jacob kind of sent me a photograph on my WhatsApp. And the photograph that he sent me was me in orange uh, and uh, me with all the other guys. This was a photograph when I used to conduct training workshops every week in my house, okay? People used to come and I used to conduct training sessions, creative sessions, self-improvement stuff and all that. And it was a fun time, it was a fun time. We used to do this once a week. So all these people were my clients and customers, okay? But then eventually in time, we became very close friends, very, very close friends. It was like they were my family. I'll walk this way. A cricket sound. Okay, so they were like my family. Now the thing if you notice in the snap is how fat I look. Just see my face. I look like a buffalo. I look like a constipated cow. Now, here's the funny thing. If you told me at that time that I was fat, imagine that is me at nearly 100, 100 and some kilos, 101 or something. If you told me that time, law, you're fat and you're unhealthy, I would laugh at you. I would tell you, I'm more healthy than you. I'm in better shape. You'll not believe, even with that 100 kilo frame, even so fat, I used to still run half marathons. I used to do triathlons. I used to do swimming challenges. Uh, you will find it hard to believe, 21 kilometers every once a week, every alternate day uh, running for at least, at least uh, 15 kilometers, uh, sprinting sessions. I would be training eight to nine hours. Okay, this is with breaks in between and uh, I, I'm not joking. Huh? <laughs> People who know me know this. I had a professional coach. I would and the training is not eight, eight hours non-stop. Drive down to the session, train, take rest, go to another place, take rest. So I was doing all this crazy stuff. Swimming and running and... So it, those were the fun times in Dubai. Okay? So I was, uh, like, I mean, athletic. But I wasn't, like, I never had six-pack. Because I had to eat a lot. So if you tell me I'm fat or... I never believe it. I would say this is bullshit. Now, fast forward, I think five years or four years. Today I'm in Thailand. I'm in my 80s. I'm no longer doing all these sport activities, but over the years, uh, I my body weight went up to 125 kgs. And now I'm at 80. So you can see the gap, 40, 45 kilos I've lost. And now after my surgery, it is down. Today, when I look back on my weight, I'm really shocked. I'm like, fuck, I was so fat. And then when I reflect on my life before, I realize so many drawbacks. I realize I was so ignorant. I was so arrogant. There's so many things I didn't know. My YouTube videos, I used to think my YouTube videos were great those days. Today, I realize, <laughs> It was nothing. I used to think my production value was decent, if not great. Today I realized that it was absolute amateurish. Those days, I had only, I think, what, uh, 300 or 400 uh, subscribers. 300, 400 subscribers, and I used to think, wow, 300, 400 subscribers. Today I have like 30,000 subscribers. I don't feel anything. Those days I used to get like, Four, five comments uh, per video or two, three comments per video. 
I still feel it was great. <laughs> Today I get at least you know 1,600 mails messages. So the point I'm trying to tell you is, we always think no end of ourselves. We always feel we are good, we are smart, we are intelligent, we are, and no matter what anyone tells us, we are always defensive. We'll never realize what we really are. But then when we become older, no? when time goes by, you realize, shit, what was I even thinking? That's why now, now that I'm 43 or 40, 43, I look back when I, when I was 16 year old, fuck, I was an arrogant son of a bitch. <laughs> if I tell you what my thought process was, you will fall down laughing. At 16 years of age, I used to tell my friend who was like working in Emirates Airlines, engineer, we used to DJ together. I used to tell him, man, these middle-aged Indian men, they're such fucking losers. They have a pot belly, they have an ugly looking wife, they have uh, children, they're earning shitty salaries. I will always have a six pack, powerful body, I'll always be strong, I'll have a hot wife, I'll have millions and billions of dollars, I'll not be a loser like this. It's fucking cocky, man. Oh, in my 20s, I wanted to be a billionaire, billions, huh? And uh, have multiple girls, multiple hotels, multiple properties, travel around the world, all big, big, big stuff. 30s, I just wanted to have sex with girls, girls, girls be big, strong, and I didn't give a fuck about being rich, but I wanted to enjoy life. Spending money like fuck. You will not believe this, but I spent, I think, four and a half thousand drums just one day. Four and a half thousand drums just on perfume. Perfume bottles, because I like to smell good so that when you'd have sex or be with a girl, I would smell good creams and this and that. Fuck. Why do you think this tongue piercing game for sex? <laughs> Those are the days. And uh, today, when I look back, what the fuck was I thinking? Seriously, what the fuck was I thinking? You'll not believe I used to inject steroids into my body uh, to lift these super huge weights, and I would eat like. If I tell you what I would eat, you'll not believe me. Okay, see, this is what I would eat. Ask any Indian guy if this is too much or not. This is my breakfast, huh? I remember there was this Malbari shop near my office. Morning, I would order, uh, I think in and around six parotas, six. Six parotas, but deep fried. I like it, uh, you know, six parotas. One chicken uh, chuka. Uh, they had brain, you know, Pakistani brain, then paya, then fish fry. Uh, I love papads. I used to have like 20, 30 papads. I would have dal, you know, the lentils, and uh, kima, kima chana. This is all for one person. My bill, just in a cheap Malbari hotel, cheap, super fucking cheap Malbari hotel used to come to nearly a hundred dirhams. And along with that, I would have Red Bulls. I just loved Red Bulls. I would gorge on two to three, four with ice. And then to make it even more fun, I would have it when watching movies, uh, you know, downloading stuff and watching movies. This is just breakfast. Just think about it, let it settle in, breakfast. And then before I knew it, in between the day, Snickers chocolate, I used to love the Snickers chocolate. Uh, uh, in a day, I would have minimum, minimum eight to nine Red Bulls, every single day. The amount of food that I was eating, I told you, right? This is just breakfast. So the biggest meal of the day used to be the night. And uh, in the afternoon, I used to have this mota set, you know, Malayalis know that you get different, different, different sauces and curries and flavors and night used to be the heaviest where I would eat Pakistani chicken fry, chicken grill, uh, brain and you know, joint soup, paya they call it. Fuck.
lot. I see it, man. But today, uh, after my bariatric surgery, so fucking loud here. Yeah. After my bariatric surgery, I can hardly, I mean, if I eat uh, rice with fish, it's it's a, it's like a fast food. You can just put it in the microwave and eat it out. If I just eat that one, I'm full. I can't eat more than a scoop of rice. So the point I'm trying to make here is we change with time. We don't realize how stupid, arrogant, immature, ignorant. We don't realize when you're young. But as you grow older, the realities of life set in and that's why you realize, fuck, I'm being stupid here, you know. So the whole point of this video is to tell you that as we grow older, maturity sets in, priorities change, so many things change, you know. So don't, uh, whatever you are doing right now, just don't think that you are the best or you are invincible or whatever is your past success or even your present. Your future can be so totally different and I'm living proof of this. And uh, yeah, you can even see what happened to these big billionaires. So rich and they've lost everything. So this is what I had to share with you guys in terms of perspective and life. So uh, let me know your thoughts. Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? You know, I love to hear from you. This is me signing off for now. Take care.